Today, we are going to go back to what we did in week one, dimensional analysis. So one of the things we were doing the other day when we were talking about waves was the different kinds of waves. Remember doing all of this? So we did all of this stuff. And now I want you to think about simple harmonic motion in a standing wave. So what is a standing wave? <clears throat> Anybody know what a standing wave is? As the name implies. So a standing wave is a wave that doesn't go anywhere. It has two endpoints and it just vibrates between those two endpoints. It's like a guitar. Anybody play guitar? Okay. What do you do when you play a guitar? You pluck the string. What does that do? It sets up a wave in your string. But that wave doesn't go anywhere, right? It doesn't go to the left. It doesn't go to the right. It doesn't go anywhere. It just stands there. That particular kind of a wave is called a standing wave. So the wave does not go anywhere. So these are my points A and B, and this is my string in between A and B. Then a standing wave will be a wave when the string vibrates back and forth. So these points where the amplitude equals zero are called nodes. There's also this node. And the spot where the amplitude is maximum is called the anti-node. So we can set up different kinds of standing waves in a string. The first one we set up is when <coughs> our when we pluck the string from the middle, right? When the string is being plucked here. This is called the fundamental. We can also set up the string where we pluck it here. This is called the first harmonic. How many anti-nodes are there in the fundamental? One. How many anti-nodes are there in the first harmonic? Two. And so on. Then there will be a second harmonic. What will that look like? Same points A and B. and n will be equals to three and so on and so forth. Now, how fast do waves travel in a string? So in a string, <coughs> the speed is equal to square root of t over mu, where t is the tension and mu is defined as linear mass density or M over L, mass per unit length. Frequency in a string is given by speed over 2L or one over 2L square root of T over mu. T equals one over F where t, this t is the period. Sorry, this t equals one over f equals two pi square root mu over t, where this t is the tension. Please be very careful. This is tension. 